What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is day two of the week in the life of a university student. Today I'm going to be talking about how to maintain training and to live a healthy lifestyle whilst at university. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, smash the thumbs button and enjoy. Have for breakfast. Got some soup. Actually, no, that's boring. Let's make something with this. Right, so breakfast is served this morning. We have um, five, five or six, yeah, five banana pancakes with streaky bacon. Um, so with this, you want to have milk, banana, self-raising flour, um, and then obviously bacon, two eggs. Um, and yeah, so today I actually forgot to buy golden syrup, so it is looking a little bit dry, but that is fine. Um, so for me, I have this quite a lot because it fills me up. Really good meal to have for breakfast, really easy to make, very cheap as well. I'll actually put the price of this meal on the screen for you now. Uh, so I'm going to eat this now. Very important for keeping fit and healthy at uni is to not miss out on breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so make sure you do not miss it out. and also gives you the energy to go into uni and study later on. I and mean, obviously if you don't have breakfast then you might not study as well. Um, so this is my breakfast today. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty dry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit down, eat and enjoy this. I am mega, mega full. Holy moly! So obviously if you wanted to make this meal, you can obviously share it with a flatmate. It's quite a lot of pancake mix. Um, so if you want to eat this yourself, then fair play to you. I've just gone smash through that. Um, if you want to share that with someone else, that is also ideal because there is a lot of food there. And that is a big breakfast. Um, so I tend to have a big breakfast in the morning to kind of keep me going throughout the day. Um, and yeah, breakfast is key. Don't miss it. Don't ever miss it. Uh, most important meal of the day. So for me, as well as maintaining training and keeping healthy at university, I have to keep care of my skin. So I actually have to use this moisturiser cream every day because my skin is very, very dry. I need to use it. Otherwise, literally my face like turns into a crisp. Um, so I not only look after my health um, and training, but I do look after my skin as well. Um, I feel like that is very important for me. Right, so routine and finding the right time for you to train is key. Um, so you want to find a time that you're going to be enjoy training, um, whether that's early on in the morning, whether that's in the afternoon, in the evening. Um, uh, but just find some time to train, because obviously whilst you're at university, you'll be studying a lot, you'll be going out a lot. Um, so just find a time, maybe an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, just where you can go to the gym, set that aside at the start of the day, um, whether that is getting up early in the morning. Doing it at midday, so for me today, I'm going to be training at one o'clock today. I'm actually going to be training at Tim, so that actually leads me to the second point, is find someone to train with, to kind of give you that more motivation to get to the gym, knowing that someone is going with you, um, and it make you less lazy, or make you want to go to the gym more, because you'll be going to see your mate, you can socialise a little bit more with them, and also when you're in the gym, also it's good to have someone to push you in the gym, uh, make you work harder. Uh, so today I'm going to be training with Tim. Um, I'm going to be going to Flex Fitness today at one o'clock. So obviously the most important part of obviously living a healthy lifestyle is to eat. Um, so my massive advice for people at university if you are struggling to get meals in is meal prep. So currently right now today I'm not meal prepping but I previously meal prepped a lot. Um, this is a very very handy way to get your meals in. Um, so maybe just cook up a load of chicken, rice and veg or whatever you want to do. Put it in Tupperware. Um, put it in the fridge, take it to uni, microwave it at uni, whatever you can do just to get the food in. Um, so you can obviously keep eating, you can also save a little bit of money doing that as well. So you don't have to go out at lunch and get lunch, um, you've already got your lunch with you. Water. Water is key 
for obviously keeping healthy at university. Obviously university students are prone to looking at a screen a lot, obviously being in lectures, looking at your phone, looking at a laptop, doing work. So I now carry around this big litre bottle of water um, and I try and have at least five of these a day. I just take it everywhere so I know how much I'm drinking um, so I can really keep on top of how much I'm drinking because water is key because I get headaches a lot um, from looking at screens. So water, drink a lot of water. And on that note, I'm actually currently making up my lunch. So we've got sausages, onions, we've got asparagus and rice. So another quick meal to make. Um, and then I'm going to be heading off to the gym to train with Timbo. Shout out to Tim Stewart, sound guy. Um, so yeah, let's have some more water. Ugh. Chicken is the just the best meal to make, easiest meal. I'll show you my quick way of cooking it. Um, so I literally just put this in foil, put it in the oven, leave it in the oven for about half an hour. Um, and that actually just saves you from not having to stand over the stove. Um, you can sit down, do some more work, whatever. Um, and we've also got a rice cooker here, which we put all our veg and rice in. Um, so we don't have to cook that either really. Um, so we literally just set all this up and then we have to sit down for about half an hour and then it's done so we don't technically have to cook anything which is sound which is obviously ideal so something that i would advise you to get um, as a student is a rice cooker if you do like your rice um, and obviously buying basmati rice will save you more money than buying packet rice um, so yeah going to cook up some chicken rice and veg as always it's like the meal like i always eat um, so yeah better help I'm currently eating a lot of fruit and veg um, because I don't want to fall in that trap of eating rubbish all the time whilst at university. So I try and eat as much. So I always try to buy bananas and blueberries, just put them in the fridge. Um, so if I do want a snack, I can just grab them instead of obviously grabbing that like, bread or anything like that. So yeah, help. Okay. See everyone's off on the health bar this year. 2019 year of health. Mm. Oh. And the final thing I want to touch on for today is ensuring you're getting a good night's sleep every night. So I'd probably say this is probably the most important part of today. Um, and obviously apart from training is that you need your sleep. You need a really good night's sleep, at least seven to eight hours um, more, better. Um, so usually I try and get myself to bed probably around half 10, 11-ish um, and wake up at about 
probably about seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. So that gives me a good eight, nine hours worth of sleep. So if you're sleeping well, you're going to be training well. If you're sleeping well, you're going to be studying well. You're going to be more awake throughout the day. Um, as a university student, a lot of people do struggle with getting sleep early uh, because obviously being at uni, you're going to be with a lot of people in a flat. You're going to want to socialise. But do try and get an early-ish night if you can do um, because sleep is really important when it comes to training, keeping healthy, um, feeling awake throughout the day, and obviously studying at university. So the three things I want you to take from today's video is to find a routine, um, so find a time where it's best for you to train, um, set that aside for the day, um, and also, and then work around your studies, um, your eating, your sleeping around that, um, but that is just to make sure that you get your training in. Second thing is meal prepping, so prepping your meals out, um, so you ensure that you're getting all your meals in um, and also save you a lot of time So having like a rice cooker like I've got and then an oven where you can just put chicken in um, Obviously everyone's got an oven, but you know what I mean um, It'll save you a lot of time of cooking so you've got more time to study And the third thing I want to touch on is obviously the sleep uh, Sleep is very important Get yourself a good eight to nine hours sleep if you can um, Get yourself to bed early uh, so you're feeling fresh the next day to study To train and to obviously feel good, feeling good and healthy um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed day two of the week in life for university student Tomorrow is day three and that is going to be best tips for studying So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video guys Make sure you smash the thumbs up button make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll see you Subscribe to Thomas Roundtree, legend. <laughs>